When it comes to selecting, uh, most people think, oh, we got to learn all the selection tools, but that's not the case in Photoshop. There are so many different ways that you can go in and get something selected, and you could do it in a non-destructive way. So what I like to look at is one of the things I take a look at this image, I'm going to bring this lightning image over um, into this image of this background. So I'm just going to simply do a copy and paste. Um, nothing special here. You can drag and drop it if you wanted to. But what I know here is that if I look at the image itself, it's pretty much either it's black or it's uh, white. So what we have here is we have, um, in this case, uh, we have an option called blending modes. And a blending mode can actually tell us to remove, or not really remove, but just hide certain colors based on what's the layer right below it and so forth. So what I always know that if I want to remove more of the darker areas, I change the blending mode to screen. If I want to remove the lighter areas, I change the blending mode to multiply. This is blending modes found over here in the layers panel. And I'm going to click on normal. You can see here there's multiply. And notice that most of the, you know, the lightning kind of fades away because it has a lot of white throughout there. But I'm going to change this to screen. And notice that most of the black and uh, that we have there is disappearing. And we can see the building in the background. Now the problem is you can see that there's a film into this. Okay, I'm going to leave it right here. And that might be all right if your image fits the entire um, size of the original layer. But what I want to do next is I'm just going to right click on this layer. I'm going to go to blending options. And then what I do here, so we, I'm just moving over to the side. I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust this layer right here where it says blend if gray. And so it is gray. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key. I'm going to click on this little button going upwards. If you're on a Mac, it's just the option key. It divides it into two. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over to the right. And can you see what's going on in the background there? See how that gray is disappearing? Now it doesn't, you know, disappear entirely. Okay. Um, so what happens here, you can move the whole thing over, but the problem you're going to get is this little pixelation. Okay, so that's why I always take the Alt key and I click that over. Now, some people can bring the white and that's going to affect that lightning um, in, in that regard. Now, we are doing screen up here. So screen is listed up here in the blending mode. So I can change the opacity. You can also try the other modes here. You might get a better, um, you know, option. It might come up with something a little more creative. Um, and, you know, that's always something to take a look at. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remove this. I'm going to click OK. Now, let's say you want this, but you have this, this little gap here. So what will happen is um, then I go in, I work with my layer mask, which you'll learn in, you know, uh, in a, extra, other exercises and I add that by clicking on this and puts this in and I'm going to use my paintbrush tool I'm going to use black I want to use a soft edge brush so hardness sets to zero and I'm going to make it a little bit larger and what I'm doing is I'm taking away that hard edge and I'm just clicking a couple times just to get a little bit closer. Now you can go over here a little bit, uh, depending on how you want it. And you can make the you know you can make it a little bit smaller, but we want to get that edge disappear. So all I'm doing here is non-destructive, which means I can get back to the original and I can do anything I want to it. Now I can move this around, but as you can see here, if I move it to the left, this is where you can see the edges, especially around the edges of the uh, the edge of the image. So that's where you take your paintbrush, and when we paint with black, we hide what's on that layer.
and then you just kind of go around and try to get that to remove as much as possible depending on how you want it you know so the key here is I want to make sure you understand that selecting is not just you're using selection tools you have blending modes that will help as well and you could do a lot of things non-destructively and that's where layer masks come in play.